A drug addict from Leicester has become the first person in Britain to be paid by an American charity to have a vasectomy. The 38-year-old man, named only as John, received £200 from Project Prevention. The charity's founder believes drug addicts should not have children. Tom Simons reports. In North London, a middle-aged American woman walks the streets looking for volunteers. We offer drug addicts and alcoholics cash incentive of 200 pounds if they'll use long-term birth control. And by that, Barbara Harris has been telling drugs workers and addicts in Britain she means sterilization for women, a vasectomy for men. It's cash in return for a life without children. I've got very angry about the damage that these drugs do to these children. Typically, I just say one thing to my critics. If you truly believe that these women have a right to continue to have children, then step up, get in line, and adopt the next one born. I mean, to me, it's that simple. In the United States, her controversial charity has already paid 300 addicts and alcoholics. Now, after touring addict support groups in London and Scotland and not always having her ideas well received, Barbara Harris has found her first customer. Nervous, but keen to get it over and done with. John, a long-term drug addict who's asked not to be named, is having a vasectomy. All goes well, and he receives £200. It was something that I'd been thinking about for a long time, and something that I'd already sort of made my mind up what I wanted mm -hmm. to do, but just hadn't got around to it. I'm going to spend it on overdue rent and a bit of shopping. But the project has its critics in Britain. I don't think at all that there is a place for project prevention in the UK. It exploits very vulnerable people who are addicted to drugs and alcohol at probably the lowest point in their lives. I ain't used to shoot up, but I... Barbara Harris has been called a Nazi who offers bribes for babies' lives, but she insists she won't stop. Tom Simons, BBC News.